Okay guys, welcome to um, another video, another video where I showcase some stuff. Um, I want to show you something pretty special, pretty unique um, on my Sega Saturn. It's quite late or early depending on your viewpoint. So at the moment as you can see, um, I'm just loading in, I'm just about to load in something. Here it is. Just turn the sound down a little bit. Okay, what you're watching at the moment is a little something that um, I've got uh, from a Sega Saturn that I'm really proud of. Um, it's called Desamon, I think it's pronounced, Desamon 2. It's basically a shoe up construction kit for the Sega Saturn. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty, it's pretty much all in Japanese, um, as you can tell. Now, some of it's in English, and um, there's an editing suite there. You can basically edit things. You can even create like 3D shapes and things like that. And um, you can just even, believe it or not, a music library, and um, we can actually make your own music from scratch and everything else. And um, I didn't know this, but there's a mouse peripheral for. Um, I'll just turn it down a bit. There's a mouse peripheral for the Sega Saturn. I didn't even know this. And um, there's also disk drive, fluffy disk drive peripheral as well, um, which I, I, I had something about that, I didn't know if it was true. So there you go. Um, as you can see, uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff. If you go to the CG panel, that's obviously computer graphics, that's obviously all the 2D stuff. Um, that is um, enemy patterns and enemy behaviours and player behaviours and stuff. There's a music set suite, um, in fact I'll go into it just to give you a quick show. So as you can see, it's a complete music suite, well near enough a complete music suite. There's various things you can do, various different uh, pianos, synth, all that kind of stuff. Um, pretty straightforward stuff really. Um, I'm using a joypad so it's kind of a bit cumbersome so I'm not going to do anything too impressive with it. But um, one of the reasons why I got this, uh, one of the reasons why I, I'm, I'm going to be playing this is um, so um, perhaps I'm having a little dabble on the editor myself um, it's to be able to play games there's three sample games on the disc so let's pick one at random let's pick let's pick that one yeah I'd like to play that let's have a look ok so what this does is that loads the sample one of the sample games into memory um, pretty straightforward stuff Oops. Sorry about that. I had um, my Sunsoft pad on slow. Anyway, um, as you can see, this is what the developers have cooked up in terms of like little development thing, you know, little practice games. The Biometal. A little intro there, and there's a nice little 3D thing going on, nice little 3D cloud thing. And as you can see, it's just it creates horizontal and vertical scrolling shoe And um, so, just give you a little indicator as to how you, you know, it's just pretty straightforward stuff, really. Ace the shoe, and that kind of thing, you just move around, kill baddies, and uh, you get to score two player mode for some of the games. So, very impressive, I'm Peter Fan. However, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just quickly, um, I'm hoping I've got enough time to do it, I'm just going to quickly um, switch discs very, very quickly. Okay, this disc what I'm putting in is something that I found off a site called satacore.com. Um, it's pretty much um, an I Love Sega Saturn type site and um, very much of a Japanese flavour. Um, I found this disc image on there. Um, so what this is, is a, it's a Desamon uh, to save game manager. Um, credits go to obviously the people on there. Um, and basically what this has on it 
is basically a shed load of games made using the editor. Um, now, one of the major problems that I came across with this originally was um, I couldn't copy, well, I couldn't put games that I'd made or, or creations that I'd made on anything other than the, you know, I couldn't put them on the internal memory. And, I, and because I was importing, the, using the import device, uh, using the import functionality, sorry, on the um, on the action replay, I couldn't use the 8 meg um, memory card to save the creations that I'd made. Um, so I was kind of stuck. Um, then I discovered um, a way to patch um, Desamon 2 um, and basically give me the ability to play the game as if it was a European game or a PAL game or whatever. Um, so straight away I, I could then take away, I could do away with the action replay and use the 8 meg, use an 8 meg memory card. This then gives me the ability to like basically you know grab games and things like that um, and copy files and things and um, the files are actually quite large for Sega Saturn save games they're about 2,000 blocks a piece um, but you're going to see what what you're going to see with this is a little it's basically really clever basically what you do is uh, sec. so basically it's like a file manager right but if you press Y and um, it gives you the list of games that are on the device using the right shoulder button we can go through the list what I'm going to do is I'm going to just zip through the list and notice that game. Okay, I'm going to copy this game across. So what you do is, um, what I've discovered is that you use the first file um, on the list in a sec. Yeah, so you, you do the first file on the list, you go copy that across. Well, as you can see at the moment, I'm in my system memory. Um, don't even see that system memory. Well, there's clearly not enough room. Uh, the game is quite large, so clearly not enough room. Um, the next thing to do is, if I, hold on a sec, X toggles the device, press right, I'm on cartridge memory, and as you can see, plenty of room there. So we go back up to here, and I want to copy the file across, so I use A. And what that does is that copies that file across to the cartridge. And um, we now have the file on the cartridge. So this is a creation, uh, like a show game creation by, uh, I don't know who, um, on the disc. Uh, I've basically copied it off the disc. So, um, now I've done that, let's do some more switching. If you bear with me. Okay, so what I've done is I've reset the Sega Saturn, and it's now blowing up. There's a Mon 2 again. Um, so just to give you some indication, I'll just turn on my light. Just to give you some indication, that is the memory stick. That is the Sega Saturn, obviously. Reading switched. <laughs> so back to this. So, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, basically, we go to the options and load in the game. So, we're going to be loading off the cartridge. Um, I've got some understanding of what I'm doing here. <laughs> basically, loading off the RAM. It notices the first file. There's the file there. Um, I'll, you can actually split it and you can load in parts of it like the music and like the, the enemy sort of logic and things like that but I want to load everything in and I want to do that yes please and yes I do want to do that okay yes and then we return so some of it is in English there is some knowledge of it so Basically, I love shooting games, all types, vertical, horizontal, anything, isometric. I love shooting games. So this is absolute hog's heaven for me. So you go to the user-created stuff, and what it does is it loads that game that's into memory. Now, 
Does that look familiar? Prepare for um, a legal litigation battle. Um, anyway, if I press start. Basically, um, it's like a shooting game with Mario in it. And as you can see, I suck at it. Anyway, um, there it is. Um, I'm going to do another video with um, maybe a better shooting game on it. Um, but I just wanted to give you a better understanding of what I've got up there. So, um, yeah, don't know if you can see. Turn around. <laughs> so, yeah, um, just wanted to give you a better understanding of what I've been up to these last uh, couple of hours or whatever. So, yeah, there you go. Um, I'm going to put up another video. Um, I'm probably going to do like a, a, a little Desimon section um, because I absolutely adore some of the games that are on there. And, um, yeah, cool. So, that's it. Um, hopefully, um, just, you know, hopefully keep on rocking and all the usual stuff. I'm going to try and do another video before, before I get some sleep. See you in a bit.